The new Bronco is coming in 2020 as one of four. Or is it five? New utility vehicles. Ford plans to add to its lineup. It will be built alongside the Ford Ranger, which is returning to the U.S. market for 2019, at Ford's Michigan assembly plant in Wayne, Michigan. It's really unfortunate that Ford didn't produce the Bronco for a number of years. Because there was a definite Land Rover Defender vibe to it, especially the first generation back in 1966. The collector market is picking off the original Bronco left and right, and the recent boom in SUVs and 4x4s. In the US has created an interesting concoction, and just the right conditions for the Bronco to make its return. The Ford Bronco 2018 is coming. Whatever the reasons for its departure, the Ford Bronco is coming back to markets with full expectations. Speculation of a hardtop convertible, diesel and a four-door model have all been taken into consideration. The Bronco will be a great addition to Ford's long lineup of vehicles, and most likely pull its weight in sales. So, anticipating the 2018 Ford Bronco. While Ford hasn't confirmed it, we're nearly certain the Bronco and Ranger will share a platform. That would make the Bronco a proper body-on-frame SUV, instead of something car-based like the Escape or Edge. Reports say the new Bronco will be developed in Australia, which makes sense given that the current Ranger was engineered there. I know a lot of you have seen these renderings of the Bronco, but my oh my is it sharp. The new Bronco, if it looks like this does, will truly give Jeep some issues. The Wrangler hasn't really had serious competition, and truly dominated the masses who looked for a pure 4x4. I said dominated because I really believe the Bronco will make a strong case for itself. I think it would be even cooler with some more aggressively flared wheel arches, maybe on a more hardcore trim level. There are so many possibilities for this thing that it's insane. Will there be an off-road version from Ford Performance? The logical answer is heck yes as it would give the F-150 Raptor some company in the showroom and the iconic Jeep Wrangler some friendly competition on the trails. We'd expect the smaller Bronco to be more focused on rock crawling, leaving the big Raptor alone to go crazy fast across wide open desert. Now it just needs a name, preferably something also from the Jurassic period.